So very good morning to all of you. Very good morning, Namaskar to all the participants. I can see uh, from different states you have joined. Uh, so today we will uh, be talking about video resources and I will request you to be very active and, you know, uh, interact and give answers so that we are on the same page that we are understanding what we are going through so my first question here is we are we have to talk about video resources what exactly is a video resource according to you what exactly is video resource what do you understand you can unmute also or you can write in the chat box also Visual resources, okay. Anything else? YouTube videos, visual resources, again, visual content, a resource that is in visual format, any for animation, digital resources, okay. Okay, right. Documentaries, that is one kind of uh, video resource, right. Animation videos, yes. Visual content to make... Materials to check students' understanding, images, audio, sound effects. Yes, very good. Both audio and video with information, comic strip, capturing, actually happen, situation, simulation. So, okay, very nice. So, whatever I thought, I think you've covered everything. So, if I explain it this way, there were two terms which were coming. Uh, are you all comfortable with English or shall I shift to a mixture of uh, English and Hindi? Participants are from Northeast and the Southern states. So, so I think English would be better. Right. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So you have used two terms, video resources and visual resources. Okay. Now, what is the difference between these two? Or are these two similar? Do you think these are two similar or just these two terms are you being used inter interchangeably? So... Okay, no. No, these are not interchangeably used. Right, very right. Video resource and visual resource are two different terms. Visual resource is anything. Say, for example, an image or a graph or a map, depending on the subject, that is a visual resource. Your the uh, For example, the children make uh, uh, charts in the classroom. That is a visual resource. Okay, it can be a digital one, it can be a non-digital one also. We can digitize it also. Then, what is then video resource? Video means then something is moving. It can be a plain recorded video, so as somebody mentioned. And it can also be including along with video certain images. So visual resources can become a part of video resources. Done? Till here we are together. Then in the video resources, we can also see certain audio narration, which we call. Then certain sound effect, music. We can add all these things in a video resource. Okay. So now we are very clear that what video resource and what visual resource is. So now I'll confuse you. So is a video resource a visual resource? Can you see it? So now I am contradicting here myself. So yes, visual video is also a part of visual resource because we, because we can see it. So yes, these two terms are different. Their meanings are very different when we are going to discuss them. But both of them make a part of each other also. Right? So this way we have kind of clarified that even though video and visual, but we cannot change it interchangeably. We will not call a video resource a visual resource. We will call it a video resource. But definitely it is a part of visual resource also. Right? Till here we are together. And now we will move on to what do you think is a need for visual resource? Why should I? 
why will i need as an uh, as a teacher educator as an educator as an uh, student why i need a video resource that is a question now i'll request you to answer that also so that we can move forward fast to understand things better yes right anything else to meet the interest better understanding abstract concepts yeah abstract things can be made visual very right true so visual resource helps us in making the teaching learning process more effective concepts clarity can be enhanced engagement can be enhanced motivation can be brought in true sensory organs can be uh, yes very right there only we were reaching so why video is that we've got different you know we are able to deal with different senses at a simple at one time simple uh, complex information visual helps convey intricate ideas grab attention enhance understanding yes very very right sir ma'am prakash rao sir so now when we have understood why we need resources where video resources we very well understood that we can enhance the understanding they can serve video resources can serve our different senses that is audio auditory and visual so we can see with our eyes along with we are listening to the uh, the content which has been presented and the music and sound effects are somewhere though we are that's an auditory thing but that is you know somewhere pacifying our mind and more making it more focused there to the content right so that is the need of video resources now as a teacher the next question comes here is as a teacher how will you use that video resource can you use it for different subjects can you use it for different topics can you use it for different kind of children that you have to see so if you uh, you are coming from a different background different subjects so is it possible for us to use it in mathematics science uh, languages social sciences can we use it yes true we can use it in all subjects and also we can use it with different kind of learner in the class we have different kinds of learner for example if you notice we have some auditory learners who listen to us carefully but they will keep seeing outside the window right and then some of the some of the students are the first ventures who will keep looking at the board or in the eyes of the teacher to understand the content better uh, sir uh, kuch log hindi ka request kar rahe hain to mujhe bata dijiye agar dono main mix karu tab sabko comfortable hai so that i can switch to that language i am okay with both so no ma'am <laughs> <laughs> that's a difficult situation uh, so i'll uh, at the end towards the end i'll some somehow wind up in hindi also so that you all can understand okay so where we were that we've got auditory learner we have got visual learners okay and then we have got the learners who you know kinesthetic you know they engage in a different way so to deal with these learners we can have variety of resources and video resources is one of them which engages different or uh, this thing senses right now we have discussed the need and the scope also now of the uh, video resources we will come to the video creation part before video creation we have to be prepared with a few things in advance that is we call normally as a script okay but before we go into the script we need to understand that what is the need how to prepare the script first we need certain things before writing a script can you tell me what do you need before writing a script any any inputs you you can have what we need before writing before we get into the writing of the script right idea topic objectives content concepts very nice learning outcomes storyline true okay content knowledge procedure right very right 
so as a teacher you you prepare a lesson plan for your classroom similar way we have to do certain pre planning for the script yes who will be the audience right so first of all our topic what we are going to teach who is the audience what is their prior learning knowledge we need to know that and a lot more about it so i'll go to the next slide first so that we can be we can understand this concept first so we need a demographic understanding of the audience say for example i asked which language is comfortable so the my my colleague said that uh, we are, we have uh, audience from northeast and south so it will be better if we use english so that's my understanding of why i need a demography i am not going to you know make a bias on on this but i am going to be more supportive so that the learning is enhanced then what are the learning preferences of this you you've talked about language we've talked about uh, sense uh, you know sense uh, engagement visual auditory kinesthetic we need to know that which kind of learners are there say for example you you you're making content for us younger children right so you need to have some kinesthetic thing so that they keep doing and learning so for example we tell them 1 2 3 so they will arrange 1 2 3 in a sequence okay or they will identify a color that's a physical thing we can do it through video also but that's a physical activity so we need to see what kind of learners we are attending to then their prior knowledge assessment as i said earlier that till what thing they know and if we need we need to recap the previous concept also so that the learner is you know recall the concept and then go to the next concept to the new learning then we have to plan the content learning objectives we have to frame that what we need as an outcome of this particular uh, video so we have to frame all those things also that these all will have influence on script writing say for example a child is you know younger child the language will be very very simple okay and also the child coming from which background from rural urban we can take examples from their background say for a, for a southern child i'll take more example if i want to take something related to sea something related to um, south indian food or something and if i'm talking to a north indian child i'll i'll talk about plains i'll take talk about uh, uh, maybe if mountains are nearby then i can take examples from there the kind of resources which are here say for example uh, in in different areas say for example andaman or lakshadweep we don't we might not have a train connectivity there so in that case i can't give example of train connectivity to them okay but i can give it to other all the other children so this way we have to you know uh, identify our audience to try to understand their background and then get into the actual script writing the content say for example i have to teach video resources i'll teach the content of video resources only but i'll take examples related to my audience that is the important part video content need for hard spot learning yes very good so i am going to contextualize my learning through the examples through the language i'm speaking i might need hindi i might i need a mix of it i might need some southern language if i'm teaching there as a regular teacher so that is what i need so this aims at what that we are going to enhance the engagement of the learner so now i'll go to the previous slide that how we are moving to now once we have fixed the content we have fixed with the audience type of audience their previous knowledge then i can think of going to the writing of script now <laughs> you know what script is i hope uh, some some kind of uh, idea you might be having about what a script is just a second my presentation is done so i'll just do it again so 
so this planning of the content like in the classroom we uh, make a lesson plan in a certain format but here we use for creating any kind of digital content we prefer using a model of instructional design that is called eddy model you might have heard about it you might not have heard about it this is basically analysis the first thing is analysis which we have just understood analysis of audience analysis of content analysis of uh, the learning styles all that analysis then design design is the part where we are actually going to write the script we are going to collect the research uh, material whatever we need if we need some images some kind of video some kind of music some kind of sound effects we are going to plan that all in the design stage second stage and the third stage we are going to compile it and develop the actual video resource so in the development we are going to edit the final video shoot the final video and edit it and compile it with different images and other sound effects and music so that is the need of uh, model following this model and this model allows us you know to evaluate the evaluate at every step for example you have done analysis as a teacher you have done an analysis you can discuss with the other teacher whether it is going right or do we need include anything else then you have designed you have written a script you can share it with your colleagues you can also make your learner read it one of one or two learner that whether they are able to understand this kind of language so this analysis this design will help you that the kind of content you are planning to make you will be very near to that if you follow this model otherwise sometimes what happens is we start making some content but we deviate and make something else so this evaluation at every stage will help you to develop a more better understandable and better engaging concept for the all now we will go to the script writing part what exactly is script writing script is basically the detail of what is going to be visible in the video every step is there in the script there is a uh, you will have a title you will have objectives you will have introduction the beginning of the video then you will present main content and then you will give conclusion you can also have towards the end of the video uh, that could be a uh, like you can add certain kind of quiz you can have some qr code you can have some link some question some assignment so that the learning keeps going it's not that the video has stopped so the learner will stop so you can tell them that you can watch the next video or you can give a qr code which is online connected to some kind of uh, evaluation resource so they can answer and they can also get the report of their what they have done and if needed you can give the input in the quiz that you go back to the video and see this part this will help them to be engaged throughout the learning process now what exactly is a script this is a script what you can see right now on your screen is a script we have got we write script in two columns we are, you can see here two columns one is audio the other one is video and visuals the audio column deals with dialogues which is called narration for example whatever i am speaking here is my narration okay whatever you are writing in the chat box is your narration so i can have four five members three four members with me in the video that they are answering to me or they are you know giving inputs on the topic this way so dialogues are written in double spaced why double spaced because when a reader a teacher will read the script or even yourself you yourself will read the script you want to mark some comma pauses you find some word irrelevant you want to add some new word for those slight you know last minute additions and subtractions you can have a little space in that then this uh, dialogue will go into the running text and the way we write the first alphabet capital and then the running uh, script but see as i said my narration is going on so my name will come first monica in the capital letter then my narration 
your narration for example uh, nidhi has spoken something so i'll write nidhi and her dialogue nidhi will be in caps so that when during the shootings both the anchors or the uh, participants in the video are interacting they know which dialogue belongs to them and it should be very promptly highlighted that they can easily go through it that is why this all has to be in instruction basically has to be in caps then sound effect and music whatever sound and music you want to add in the video you have to write those in the column of audio now we move on to the visual column here we are also going to give the instruction related to video we can give the video footage link here we can tell if recording video rec for video recording has to be done then we can tell them the camera angle camera shot for example what is camera angle and camera shot you are sitting in a classroom you want your classroom to be covered so a photo a camera person can come inside the class and simply simply you know just rotate his camera and record but you want to stress upon something for example you want the camera should look at you when you are speaking the camera should move to the children when children are speaking sometime the camera should move to the back of the class so that the back of children is visible with front of the speaker sometime the camera will be needed to be placed at the back of the teacher and the whole class is visible that shows that engagement of the learner is how much okay you might also want to show certain kind of experiment so you want to uh, say for example you take a flower you are you are you are teaching parts of flower so in a bigger shot for example in a wider shot if you show parts of flower it will not be visible so you need to give the instruction that come closer to the flower and show the each component very in detail so this way close up of the flower petals will come okay this kind of instruction as a teacher what you want in the video you have to give all those instructions any image you want to add any caption you want to give for example now you can see on your screen under my image my name is written under your image your name is written that is what we have got an aston band saying well, who you are if i'm going to speak to you you don't need to tell me your name here similarly we can do it in the video that we can put an aston band we can have uh, uh, we can have subtitles we can have different things but whatever you want you have to mention it in the visual area that is why the above we have written video and visuals here because we are dealing with both the things here in this column so all the instruction all everything related to video will come here everything related to audio will come to the left column okay now i'll go to a previous slide you you decided a topic you decided the audience now you need to decide the format of the video formats you have discussed with ajit sir in detail more or less it remains the same documentary you are very clear with it is pure documentation of facts in a visual form that was in the audio form now this is in the visual form so here we have the liberty of adding some personal experiences of somebody who is available or uh, for example some images we have got we can add all those in the documentary but in audio we we need some kind of audio or research based facts here we have little liberty in docu drama the same facts are presented in drama format you might have seen some kind of docu dramas on tv also which are very much fact based and they don't have any kind of you know compromise with the factual information but the only presentation format is in drama say for example sir was giving example of uh, mahatma gandhi ji right auction uh, mahatma gandhi ji as an auctioneer so in that case we are creating we are using all the facts but only thing is one person will act as mahatma gandhi ji and others will act as other people that will be docu drama right then talk and lecture also you have discussed there it's basically talking to camera or talking to microphone that i am giving a direct talk to my audience right the next is magazine format where 
we are mixing up few things like for example we can have a small talk we can have a small uh, storytelling section then we can have some poems you know somebody saying a poem this way we can have a mixture of all now the new things are explainer video explainer video we all understand for example uh the, the i'll take the science experiment example then you are giving a detailed you know demonstration of any experiment so there in that experiment that will be called as an explainer or if you are even explaining certain kind of concept that will be coming as an explainer video then interview very well aware of you are i will not touch upon it now one is screen casting what is screen casting anybody knows it screen casting basically is recording of the screen the way we take screenshot on the mobile phone we do screen casting on the mobile phone and on the system laptop or computer also so here we are recording our screen for example today i'll go, go i'll give you a demo of a software so in that uh, demo we can record the screen for your better understanding that how to edit a video okay in this previously when screen casting tools were not available the camera was fixed at the back to show the screen but now it is possible to record the screen itself so that is one more visual resource this can be an explainer video screen casting but an explainer video you can you can run your ppt and you can uh, explain it as a teacher you can have a small image of yourself also you can have just the screen these are the option of screen casting you can do screen casting using different uh, software and applications like screen castomatic camtasia all these tools you can use for screen casting then last format in the video is micro videos do you know what reels are have you scrolled reels nowadays yes everyone has done the reels reels are of 30 seconds in 30 seconds it's difficult to convey an educational content but here maybe 2 to 5 minute video we can create which is a small video to you know explain some concept to uh, give some idea some kind of example some topic we can explain all those in a very small time so basically a small topic in a small time this you have to create this if you create this that is called a micro video we also call it bite size video that means we are not making 20 minute video which can be boring but we are making smaller videos to explain smaller concepts and maybe share it with the learners so that they can come prepared with that concept and then we can deal with it in the classroom in a flipped learning format or while explaining the concept you think there is some difficulty in explaining then you can bring in the video of that particular thing for example some biology chapter you can bring in the video of that particular part of the body and you can show it it will be a small video but it will support the learning of that particular topic so here we have discussed a few formats and we have also discussed the use of these formats documentaries can be good for history historical perspective not just history so in in historical perspective in science or in any other subject okay docu drama could be a very good uh, format for language learning along with history explainer videos could be for every subject interviews could be very good for uh, economics which are very relevant to the day to day happenings also which influence the day to day happenings also talk and lecture can also go for most of the subjects for higher level students this also you have Excuse to me ma'am sorry to interrupt you uh, if you can uh, conclude for now we yeah, can continue at 2 o'clock yes yes i am just 2 Thank minutes you. so so we have to see the level of learner level of learner means to a very younger child i cannot give a lecture and to a class 12th or class 11th child i cannot make a you know puppet show or uh, maybe a docu drama will not be very useful for them because we have lot of content to be covered there their explainer and lecture videos would be very helpful but for the younger audience we can have for little kids they have less attention span we can have micro videos we can have uh, docu drama we can have magazine format to retain their attention so this also you need to 
plan before getting into your audio and video creation right because the script will be based on this format only for a docu drama you will have a dialogue format for a documentary i will tell you one thing documentary one thing is very different from other all the formats that the script is not written for prior to shooting or collecting the evidences every evidence everything is collected then based on the research and data available we write the script in rest of others we write the script and then we go out hunting for different resources to add on to it so that's a major difference between a documentary in and in any other kind of visual uh, video resource okay so now we'll wind up here i will uh, be coming to the next session at 2 o'clock there we will discuss storyboard i will also try to showcase one or two script and st storyboard to you so that you can understand what it is and then we will go into the editing part of the video resource thank you very much thank you so much ma'am for this um, explanation and